In this variations video, I'm going to play a game of solitaire with a scoring element inspired by Japanese mahjong, also known as Riti. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Richie Mahjong has a scoring element called Dora. Dora is the property of a tile that multiplies the value of a winning hand. After the deal, East will flip the top tile in their wall, the very last tile. That tile is called the Dora Indicator. The next tile up in order is called Dora and every instance of Dora in the winning hand will multiply the value of that hand. The progression for number tiles is sequential. So if a one dot is the Dora indicator, two dot is Dora. If a five bam is the Dora indicator, six bam would be Dora. If a nine crack is the Dora indicator, it would go back to one. So one crack would be Dora. The progression for wins is east, south, west, north. You could remember that by saying eat soup with nuts. So if north is the Dora indicator, east would be Dora. The progression for dragons is red, white, and green back to red. So if red dragon is the Dora indicator, white dragon would be Dora. If green dragon is the Dora indicator, red dragon would be Dora. Now the progression for flowers is going to be based on the number on the tile. Now if you flip a joker for the Dora indicator, you gotta swap it out because jokers cannot be Dora. So you flip a joker and then you would just replace it with any random tile in the wall. As long as that is a number of wind, dragon, or flower. So the next bit that you need to know is if the hand is concealed and that player wins, they also qualify for the tile under the Dora indicator. That tile is called Uradora, and it has the same properties as Dora. So if you say have a two bam for the Uradora, the tile under the Dora indicator, then three bam would be Uradora. So any instance of a three bam would multiply the value of your hand. Those last two tiles are not part of the picking and discarding phase of the game. So they are somewhat null and void. They are what helps multiply the value of a winning hand if it's used. And there are new strategies that would be involved in playing with Dora. For this solitaire game, we're going to be using the Mock American Mahjong card. The Mock American Mahjong card is timeless. So no matter when you see this video, that card will still be valid. Look for a link below the video so you can download it and follow along. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four will get 13 each. Then we'll look at every player's hand, see where the strengths lie, and pick out some categories to play. Everybody has their tiles, so I'm gonna flip the Dora indicator. Four bam is Dora. Any instance of four bam will multiply the value of the hand. Let's see what we can do for East. Okay, for East, we have a pair of flowers, pair of red dragons, pair of twos and fours. This is Dora. This will multiply the value of the hand. So you get the value of the hand and then two additional multipliers. So that would be the hand value times three. So we'll do more about scoring at the end of the video. I think we should play two, four, six, eight here. So we'll hold two, four, six, eight. There is a hand that uses the opposite dragon under two, four, six, eight. And we would need the two bam or two crack. This is the wrong dragon. I think we should focus on Dora because it will multiply the value of the hand and break up these 
Let's break those up and pass those three. Probably give this up too. Two, four, we need six bam. We could play the third hand down, leverage Dora. Here we have a lot of three, four, five, six. Let's do consecutive run. Three, four, three, two, three, four, five dragon. This is the corresponding dragon. So that doesn't work. The dragons would be maybe flower, three, four, red dragon, not white dragon. Let's pass those three. Let's just see what comes in. I almost messed that one up. Pair of sevens. We have Dora. What about four, five, six, seven, eight? Consecutive run, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's keep four, five. Hmm. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Consecutive run using Dora. Let's pass the green dragon. Let's see if we can do something consecutive and leverage Dora. May or may not be able to get up to seven. A lot of sixes here. Like numbers with sixes or two, four, six, eight. Let's give up the wind. Okay, we're ready to do the Charleston. So east passes to south. South up to west, west to north. And then north down to east. No keepers here. We want two, four, six, eight. We need six bams. And we're leveraging Dora here. Maybe we could do one, two, three, or one through four. One, two, three, four. We should leverage these flowers though. Let's pass those. We could maybe break it up a little bit. One, nine. One, nine would be year tiles for 2019 when this was filmed. Here we're looking for three, four, five, six. We did get a red dragon. Three, four, red. There we go. Three, four, red. What we need here are flowers, but we do have a joker. So let's let's see if we pass that. We'll pass those three. We got a seven. Oh, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see. Second from the bottom. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's pass those three. Three, four, five, six, seven. Three suits. Okay, here we're doing two, four, six, eight. We did get a dragon. We have to make a choice now. Sixes. 
we have all the sixes. Two, four, six, eight. We have no flowers. There is a hand with dragons, second hand down under singles and pairs. Two, four, six, eight, and one suit with the opposite dragons. We have, we'd have to throw away a pair though. I think we should leverage the multiples and go for like numbers. Let's give up on the two. So we did first right. Now we're going to go across east and west, north and south. We want the six bam, two, four, six, eight. That's not helpful at all. Three, four, dragon, we need flowers. We can just pass those on. I think that's just fine. Oh, two, nine, that would be all year tiles. Let's break that up. What about breaking it up even a little more there? Oh, still year tile, no matter how you slice it. Three, four, five, six, seven. We'll keep going. We can maybe make that better. Pass those right there. Wait, four Bam is Dora. I do not want to pass that. Let's pass those three right there. Or maybe even, no, we could break up the nine from the one. Break up the year tiles. Oh, look, we got a six. Okay, let's give up a two. Ooh, those are all year tiles. Let's do that. Okay, if we get jokers, we could play a quint. There is a quint with dragons and like numbers. Okay, we went across. Now we're going to do first left. So east up to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. We want two, four, six, eight. We got a one and a five. There's some consecutive run here. Let's pass those three. We could still go back to two, four, six, eight. If we get a three though, we could do one through five and use this as joker bait. Three, four dragon, we want flowers. Three, four, five, six, seven. We want six bams, really, and pair up here. So let's pass. Let's pass those three. No keepers. Now we're going to do second left. No keepers, no keepers, no keepers. We paired up, we got joker bait. Let's pass those three. We wanted sixes. We got joker bait, but we need to pass. Everybody can pass fully. We have to pass fully. It's a cross. It's obligatory. No keepers. No keepers. No keepers. We wanted sixes. Those are all discards. Wow, everyone has a long way to go. Wow, that was terrible. Oh, 
Well, at least they have joker bait. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, thank goodness. Last right. Okay. Oh. So east passes to south, south to west, west to north, and north down to east. Okay. We got a four. One, two, four, eight. Let's pass the red dragon. We've got joker bait there, three, four, or we could do three, four, three, four dragon. Fourth one down, if we can get flowers, let's keep it. Let's pass those. Three, four, five, six, seven, no keepers at all. Look at that. Four discards in joker bait. Well, we're not quite done. We still get to do an optional cross. No keepers here, we want sixes. So now we're going to do optional cross, east and west, north and south, no keepers, no keepers, no keepers there either, nor there. Four discards, four discards with joker bait, four discards with options, three discards with options. Okay, they all have a long way to go. Here's Dora. No, no other door. There's only one more four bam out. Let's start by discarding this two crack. I'm going to use this to mark whose turn it is. One crack. Let's get rid of the wind. North. Nine bam. Oh my gosh, now they have a pung. What kind of gremlins are going on here? This is craziness. Ugh. Seven, eight, nine in mixed suits. I don't think there is a hand on here like that. Nope. We're going to discard the one dot and not worry about it. We'll see what happens with our next pick. We've got discards. That could be a nice, healthy chunk of joker bait. 8 bam. Let's get rid of the wind. South. One bam. One, two, four, five, eight. Let's get rid of this nine dot. Three bam. Three bam. Three, four, Dragon. Let's get rid of the one crack. Drawing here. Four bam. That's Dora. That is Dora. Let's get rid of the eight crack. I don't know if we can use it. Oh. Oh, okay, here we go. Up here. Let's just draw and see what happens. Oh, a flower. That's nice. With like numbers, you got to have a flower, a pair. So let's discard a two dot. See what happens. Drawing down here. Nine crack. This, incidentally, is the door indicator, so that's all there is. The three bam is in use. It's a dead tile, so that's all we get. We'll have to make it work. Eight bam, that's a discard, but nine dot was discarded. Let's throw that. Flower. I don't know if we can use that, but let's see here. 
Let's discard this two dot. We know we can't use that. One dot. Three dot, not helpful at all. Any BAM will give us some direction. Six cracks, let's throw the eight BAM. And draw. Eight dot, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine with a flower. This would be the third hand down. Flower, pung, 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 pung. Six, nine, match. Seven, eight, match. I think we should go ahead and give up on it and ditch Dora. Okay, now. This player should decide if they want to try to take it and make it work in a Kong. But because of what they have, I don't think I would. I think I would just hold tight. Three is plenty. That's going to take this up to a nice high value if we can make it work. So four band was discarded. We're playing six, seven, eight, nine knitted. Third hand down under a consecutive run. Seven crack. Eight bam was discarded. Let's throw that. Flower. Okay, four fl three flowers. Three flowers. I wonder if we could make an addition hand work. We, we would need six bams though. Six plus four equals ten. Let's get rid of this five dot. We don't need that for sure. Nobody else needs it. Red dragon. Three, four, red. Joker bait. Three, four, red. This would be third, fourth hand down. We need flowers. Even if we did three, four, white, we would need flowers. It's the same hand. Let's discard the seven crack. Drawing here. Two crack. I think this is a good use of those multiples. Three, four, five, six, seven. Still a possibility. Let's get rid of the two crack. Five crack. Two or seven crack was discarded, so was the two. We can get rid of maybe that next. Two dot. There are two eight bams out. We might go consecutive here. Six crack, joker bait. Three, four, red. Three, four, white. Let's throw the six crack. One bam. East. Actually, there is news with like numbers. Let's keep the east and throw the two. We just got through the second wall. Now we're going into the middle game. Everybody should know what category they're playing. Here we're playing probably consecutive run or two, four, six, eight, but most likely consecutive run because there's two eight bams out. Here we're playing consecutive run. We need flowers badly. Either three, four dragon mixed suits or three, four dragon one suit. We have one discard before we really have to decide. Here we're playing six, seven, eight, nine. That would be the third hand down under consecutive run, single discards. Here we're playing like numbers with sixes, probably all sixes or with news if we can get them. So they have all these dragons. It might be able to get a joker out of them, who knows.
We got the six. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. Let's get rid of this one bam. I don't think we can use that regardless. We might be able to use a pair if we can get threes, but three is the door indicator. So there's only three available. And if we play that one through five hand, we need a Kong of threes. So we would need a joker. I think two, four, six, eight is gonna be the way to go here. Two, four, six, eight, third hand down. Kong, pair, pair, this would go away. And then we need Pungs, and we can use Jokers with that eight. So I'm just going to turn that upside down. Let's draw. That would be plan B for who knows what. We got, we got a flower. Let's get rid of that six crack. And that is painful. They need to Kong. Let's draw. Eight crack. Let's get rid of this dragon. Paired up a dragon. If we could get jokers, we could maybe play a quint. Let's get rid of the one crack. West, we don't need that. One dot. Seven bam. I think we're pretty solid in here. Let's get rid of that seven bam. We need to get rid of all those. We got a west. Potential news with sixes. Let's discard this five crack. Six dot. We don't need any of these really. Let's discard that six dot. Oh, here we can Kong. Let's just Kong and forget the quint. No jokers. So we're gonna, we're gonna hold that as joker bait. So let's go ahead and do news with sixes and a flower. News with sixes and a flower. Let's get rid of the white dragon. So we're down here now. Nine dot. Two crack. Joker. We need to pung, 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 pung. We need more tiles in here. Let's get rid of this eight crack. Nine crack. The red dragon's been thrown. Let's get rid of that. Another flower. We've got our four. Pair, pair. We need we need to pair up here. Let's discard. Let's discard five bam. Probably this is going to have to go. Drawing. East. Flower. They got a flower. Let's discard the three crack. We need sixes. We got a four. Let's get rid of this nine crack. Okay, now we need jokers or six, eight. Oh, we got a joker. Isn't that nice? Let's get rid of the one bam and commit. We're going to commit. We've got four flowers, pair, pair. We need to pung here and here, so we need a lot more help. Five crack. Four crack. Oh, Joker bait. We'll keep that a little bit. If you want to know more about Joker bait, this is a way to get maybe some Jokers in your hand. You discard one later on your next turn. You take this one to exchange a Joker in an exposure, hopefully. Doesn't always work. There are links below the video that demonstrate how that works. So we're gonna now draw. We need sixes or wins. We got a white dragon. We don't want that. Let's get rid of the four crack. 
The white dragon was thrown too. That'll be a good discard next. Let's draw. Green dragon. I don't think we're going to be able to use that. Let's get rid of it now. Green dragon. Nobody wants it. Two bam. Let's get rid of this white dragon. Oh wait. Three, four white or three, four this. We need, here we need, I believe, do we need Kong? We need to Kong, Kong pair. Let's see. We need a Kong of flowers. This is ready to Kong, but we need, this is the Dora indicator, so we have to use that Joker there. And then we need to Kong here, pair here, or we could hold up a here and go three, four dragon, but I don't think so. I think we need to get rid of those. And maybe we could draw another Joker later and use this here because we need another flower so we could Kong. Let's go ahead and discard the white dragon. We'll discard that and then those. Drawing four west. <gasps> Joker. Oh, they're set now. Pair. We need to Pung. That's a Pung. Pung here. There's a Pung. We'll discard the four crack and they're one away from ready. Let's draw. One crack. The white dragon was discarded. Let's throw that. Five dot. South. They need it up here, but you can't call for a single tile until you're ready to win. Okay, seven crack. The four crack was thrown. Nobody wanted it. Drawing. One crack. Eight crack. North. Two bam. This is a pair. We're okay there. Four crack. Nobody wants. Eight crack. We need to get rid of this door tile. Three crack. West. Five bam. We're committed. Drawing for east. Last tile. Third wall. Five bam. Let's get rid of Dora. You don't want to hold on to Dora if you're not going to use it. Dora is like a, a risky tile, like flowers and dragons. So you want and fresh tile so you want to get rid of a door tile if you're not going to use it by the end of the third wall because somebody who might need it in the fourth wall it might take them a while to get there you could discard a very valuable tile to a winning hand so we discarded four bam we're going into the end game now Drawing for south. Five dot. Let's get rid of the two bam. Drawing here. Joker. Okay, they're ready to win on a six bam or eight dot. So we're discarding seven crack. Five crack. Drawing here, nine crack, seven crack, seven bam, west, we already have a west, nine bam, oh, oh, oh gee. That's painful. Eight dot. And that's Mahjong right here. 
a dot. So here they're concealed by the way, since they're concealed, they qualify for Uradora. They have no Dora tiles. The four BAM is Dora. So if they had four BAM in here, it would multiply their score. But since their hand is concealed, they get the tile under Dora. If they're lucky enough to have the right tile in their hand, they will be able to multiply the value of their hand. So let's see what Uradora is. Five dot, five dot is Uradora. So they had a seven dot there. So they will not get to multiply the value of their hand. They have six, seven, eight, nine knitted. It's really not knitted so much. It's just suit one and suit two in the middle. So that would be the third hand down under consecutive run, 25 points. So this player would owe 50, these two players would owe 25. Now if this player had one, let's just say this player had one, they would, they would have a 25 point hand and then they would multiply 25 by three because they won the game and they have two Dora tiles. So this would have been a 75 point hand because of Dora. That's how Dora works. Sometimes it works for you, sometimes it doesn't. You gotta try to work it in if you can. And they made a valiant effort, I think, Dora adds a level of strategy to the game. There's also a surprise element. If you're concealed, you qualify for Uradora. If you're lucky enough to have that tile in your hand, it could multiply your score. Look for a link below the video so that you can download the rules. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.